Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Devious, and uh, first of all, I'm really sorry for the static sound you're probably hearing in your background right now, because my mic is really bad, it's really screwed up, I just super glued it, taped it together and everything, so, uh, besides that guys, um, I know I promised you guys uh, I'd actually post a boss fight today of Counter-Strike Zombies, but I decided that I'd actually show you guys this, because this is what I've been working on lately, so I was going to post yesterday, but uh, I needed to finish this project, so as you can see on screen right now, uh, so three pictures and the name ZE Solstice Redux. Now I've been working on a map for Zombie Escape for a while now and uh, I'm finally done. This is the first picture of it and I actually uploaded it to a website called Game Banana where people can download it, comment on it, give feedback, rate it. So I'll leave that in the description if you guys want to check out my map. Uh, if you have Counter Strike you can download it and play it. It's really easy. You just put it in your uh, C Strike folder and then your map folder and then you just uh, run it in your game by creating a server. So uh, basically, this is the picture of the map. Um, I have eight more if you guys want to see them, so I'll just go through those. Uh, basically, it's an abandoned oil rig in the middle of nowhere. It's basically in the middle of the Arctic. As you see, when we go outside, there'll be a bunch of snowy hills and some icebergs and some chill water and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is the first picture, and I'm just going to go through the other pictures really quick. Uh, this is actually the spawn room. And this is the first hallway that you go down from the spawn room. And as you can see on the right side here, this is a defend point. You have to hold here for 20 seconds. Uh, hold the zombies off before this door opens. This is the next picture. This is uh, after you open the door. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to keep going through the rest of these so you guys can see them really quick. And this is the outside. Now, as you can see on the right and the left, there is some uh, kind of looking like snowy hill iceberg type of things. Helicopter pad on the right side. And as you can see, there is a little control panel on the end of the helipad. And if you click that, it will launch a nuke. So uh, if any of you guys are interested in uh, mapping, environmental design, anything like that, you're going into game design, this is something pretty cool that you guys want to watch. So continue watching this entire video. Uh, if you don't want to see how the mapping process is done, you can just skip to the end to see the actual map in game itself. So let's go into the mapping program. Oh, this mapping program is called Hammer. It is in uh, Source SDK. And as you can see right here, this is a 3D view of my map on the top left. You can basically fly around and see everything on your map. Uh, here in this right window, this is a top view of your map. And it's <laughs> it's pretty cluttered. It's kind of hard to see everything. That's why you have to fly around in here. If you select this wall, you go over here, you hit Control e It'll zoom in on it. You know, you can make it bigger, smaller, anything you want. And uh, down here in the left, you can move it up or down. This is a side view. This is how you make it taller, shorter. And this is the uh, side view. Uh, I believe this is the side view. I don't know. These two are basically side views. Uh, oh yeah, hey, this is this is looking straight at it, and this is looking from the side. I always get confused on that because I never really use this one on the right side. I always use this, just these three. So uh, basically, this is the rooftop on my map. Um, everything here. It's kind of confusing if you want to make uh, hold points on these maps. First, you need to make a. Uh, you know, this is the garage door you hold at. You need to make it a function. You know, blah blah blah, and then you make this right here this is called a trigger and basically what this does if if the player walks into this orange box like right when they touch it this wall will break in the amount of time that you put so if we go in here you can see that it says wall will break after a delay of 30 seconds so once the player touches this trigger it'll break after 30 seconds and uh, you basically use this right here to say in game like oh 20 seconds left 30 seconds left until this breaks but I'm not going to get into that because this isn't a map tutorial design this is just showing you my map and uh, how I made it really quick um, if you can just go through here and everything this is actually the spawn point where I was just at so this is the spawn room as you can see there's like 50 triggers I actually do have music on this map as you can see right here it's a uh, pendulum slam is the first song and this plays right when you spawn into the map and the last song is when you're holding on the helicopter or the helipad at the end and you launch the nuke and you're holding zombies off right here you got some epic Linkin Park points of authority so that's pretty awesome uh, but yeah that basically that's the gist of the map making I mean it's pretty hard you have to go through as you can see these are all individual pieces so it's not like you can just say oh let's put a building here you actually have to make the building by scratch so it's a lot uh, harder than you'd expect but uh, other than that guys I will see you in the game when we test out this map and I will be right back Alright guys, so here we are in game. First of all, I want to say fuck my life because I recorded this entire thing. It was like five minutes long and I went back to check that my mic was muted. So, kind of bad, but we're just going to do this over again because I actually know what to say now. I was kind of starting before I don't really know what to say about the map. But anyways guys, this is Counter-Strike Source. This is the loading screen, blah, blah, blah. If you guys want um, to play the map and you actually um, have Counter-Strike, you're going to want to go into your options 
and then you're going to go on keyboard, go to advanced, and make sure you enable the, uh, enable this developer console. I can't even talk right now. Once you have that enabled, you're going to hit the tilde key or the one to the left of your one, and then in here you're going to type map space ze underscore soul, and then uh, it'll pop up. It'll po you could probably just type map ze, and it'll pop up because you probably don't have tons of maps on this game. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to enter, and it's going to start the map. So right here, I'm just going to fly around the map really quick so you guys can see it in. Um, spectator mode so this is the top this is the helipad this is the nuke button uh, and uh, blah 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 so I'm actually gonna go in the game now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play uh, the music which is in here for probably about two or three seconds because I don't want to get copyrighted because uh, I'm pretty sure pendulum is a copyrighted song so I'm just gonna mute it after that but basically you can see boom I spawn in right here in the spawn point and actually I need to turn the music on so uh, as you can see there is music playing right now in the game and you see all these messages on the left side, ZE Solstice Redux B1, map made by me, uh, more stages boss added, blah blah blah, contact, have fun, uh, those messages pop up once you spawn, and this, as you can see, just broke, this is triggered once you spawn into break in like 6 seconds, so uh, that's basically so um, people can turn into zombies really quick so the humans aren't just really far ahead of them, because it does take about 15 seconds in a uh, zombie escape for humans to turn into uh, zombies, so as you saw from the uh, first picture, or the second picture, this is the uh, hallway right here, and uh, this is the hold point. As you can see, uh, it does say hold here for 20 seconds. Now, this was activated by a trigger, as I was talking about earlier. Uh, once you touch it, this breaks in 20 seconds, and you can link the messages to it, and uh, blah, blah, blah. So, it's going to say in like 2 seconds, 5 seconds left, and that's you know that there's 5 seconds left until the door breaks. And this is going to break. There's a sound to it. It's basically metal breaking and you just keep running through the entire map so I'm not gonna run through this entire thing cause it's probably about uh, four or five minutes long to run through because uh, it is a pretty decent sized map but I'm gonna go to the roof right now to show you the last spot and the nuke so I believe no clip works yes it does so we're gonna fly to the roof and by the time you get up here that first song pendulum Sam will have stopped playing so once you hit right here you're gonna see the message pop up it's gonna say the song name Lincoln Park and uh, I'm gonna run and hit this nuke so Boom, as you can see, that popped up, because that's because I set a trigger right here, as I was talking about earlier. And we're going to hit this nuke. And now, basically, the nuke is going to launch in 45 seconds, as you see, and it's going to kill everything that's not on this helipad. So, if you're right here, you're going to get blown up, basically. And that's how the humans win. It kills all the zombies. Um, I'm actually going to turn the audio back on. It's kind of going to be screwed up, because you can hear both the sounds playing at once, but you'll be able to hear a Lincoln Park song. turn that off again so uh, that plays basically all the way till the end and I'm actually gonna stand off here so you can see the nuke blow me up there's a shake and then the screen turns white and uh, if the sounds on and there's no music you can actually hear the sound of the nuke leaving the silo it's pretty cool but uh, basically that's the entire map it's a lot longer than I showed you guys because I did have to go through because I didn't want to make this video too long but uh, if you guys do enjoy uh, this type of video let me know and I will uh, make some mapping tutorials for you guys because I know it's a lot of fun to do I mean it takes a lot of time but it's a lot of fun to do you know when you finish it you get something really cool that people play um, I'm actually gonna submit this to one of the actually the number one server in Counter-Strike that is zombie escape so I actually know the uh, server owner so I'll probably be able to get this map in there and I'll post another video of me playing through it with about 60 other people and you can see uh, how the map's actually meant to be played but other than that guys I really hope you enjoyed this video this is a lot different than anything I've really made before so any of you inspiring uh, environmental designers or uh, game designers uh, I hope you found this useful and until next time this is Medivius and I'll talk to you guys later peace